Hi everyone, welcome to Raw Online. This is Dr. Ashok, consultant clinical microbiologist. So the particular route of entry is going to be the aerosol. So when someone is going to sneeze or cough, they are going to produce the respiratory droplet nuclei or aerosol, which is going to get contaminated with this particular measles virus. And following the inhalation, we are going to inhale this particular aerosol or droplet, which is going to be contaminated with this particular virus. Again, like when we are going to inhale this particular virus, it is going to go in contact with the respiratory mucosa. From the respiratory mucosa, it is going to go to the regional lymph node. In the regional lymph node, there is going to be a multiplication. Again, there is going to be a spill over the blood. So, it is called as primary viremia. So, from the lymph node, the particular virus is going to spill into the blood. That is going to be the primary viremia. And following primary viremia, the virus from the particular blood, they are going to reach the various lymphatic and the red glow endothelial system like spleen. And again, there, there is going to be a secondary multiplication. Again, after the secondary multiplication, the particular virus from the reticuloendothelial organs and the system, like they are going to spill into the blood. So, that is called as the secondary viremia. So, following secondary viremia, there is going to be a dissemination of this particular virus through the entire body. And there is going to be the appearance of clinical future where the patient is going to have something like rash and fever, everything. Now, we are moving into the clinical phases of the particular infection. So, the first phase is going to be the prodromal phase. In prodromal stage, the particular pediatric uh, population is going to get uh, the particular thing like fever and then we have something called coplic spot and non-specific symptom like fever, headache and they can be like myalgia, there can be like other thing like uh, anything like sweating or something. So, those can be the non-specific symptom which is going to be seen in those uh, population when the particular thing is going to be in the prodromal stage. Following prodromal stage, there is going to be the eruptive stage. In eruptive stage, there is going to be a dusky red rash and which is going to be a maclopapular rash. In case of any exanthematous fever, this kind of appearance is going to play an important role. In case, like it is going to give us a clinical clue which can serve as a better marker for the treatment. In case if the particular patient is going to have an exanthematous fever, where the particular lesion is going to be a vesicular lesion. So, in case if it is going to be vesicular lesion, it is going to be caused by something like varicella or herpes. In case if it is going to be the maclopapular lash, it could be like giving us an idea about this particular measles infection. So, that is about the eruptive stage. So, following the eruptive stage, the patient is going to go into the stage of post measles stage where the particular affected child is going to go into the weight loss and the weakness. So, that is going to be the third stage in which the patient is going to suffer the weight loss and the weakness.